announcing Jane the Disco Queen. Can I be an 80s daydream? Can I dance real slow, baby? I know you wanna know. Man, I'm talking about I need two more now than ever before. In real out here. Okay, so I straightened up some more, moved the desk over, moved all of this right here. This is pretty much set, stoned, and settled. I don't know if it looks how it looks. I'm still trying to get with the gist of trying to just get all this shit just together. It looks a hot mess to me right now on camera, so mm, not liking it, not feeling it, but that's okay because honestly at this point, this has officially really become just like a storage type of thing. Like literally most of this stuff is just ready to be going out the door when it's time to move. Um, I might put the Christmas tree right here since it's so empty. I know I like this little corner area. I might have to just move the jacket. I don't know. <sighs> I just can't get rid of it. So, yeah, this is little corner space, window space. Yeah, da 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 da. So, yeah. We'll see what happens with that later. But in the meantime, in between time. <laughs> Mm, okay, so my first tea meal order came. I'm excited about this, but I'm not too excited because I got some rugs, carpets, whatever you want to call it. And I'm a little scared that I'm going to be disappointed, even though it won't be in vain type of thing. So... First one seems pretty thick. Oh, got some earrings. This blue one scares me. So we're gonna open up her first. Okay. That's ugly. I am very disappointed in that one. And that's the one that I really wanted. To look right but we shall see what this one is looking like okay now this I can do this thank you thank you So now I'm just trying to figure out if I like it, how I want to place it, if I'm going to use it. I really don't want to step on the floor no more. That's why I got the carpet. That feels good. Mm. I don't know. I know I can keep this black one. That feel good. Let's see. I do the frigidaire. Put it in front of here, like so. I know. I don't know. I know I don't like that blue one. Though. So what I'm gonna do is now I know. I'm gonna go to the drawing board 
and I might just keep these both like this like so and then what I can do is yeah I just need one more big old piece of carpet or two depends on how I feel so that's what I'm just gonna do we are gonna do these two like this for now and then continue looking for more carpet. okay so now that I know exactly what I'm looking for I can go back to the drawing board when it comes to putting carpet in the kitchen so I'm probably gonna go back on t -boom. and quite honestly I can um honestly order me like three more of these and just call it a day because I really like the way it feels on my feet and oh, it just feels so good so that's probably what I'm gonna do trial and error trial and error and then hopefully she will be soon done and I would be happy so for right now we're just gonna leave the carpets like this because I really want carpet in here like even this little ugly mat right here we about to put a hub in there <laughs> this is how she about to be looking into and it really don't look so bad like it's tacky looking but it goes with the colors of everything that's going on so she getting there i really see a black carpet that's really what i see so yeah trial and error is done i'm gonna use this for snoopy to eat on and then this is for the bathroom she need to be clean so she can chill in the kitchen and then this one oh that feels so good so i'm just gonna make it easy for me to walk just create a cute little path so I don't have to walk on this nasty ass floor. I can go in the Frigidaire. Reach, 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 reach. Wash dishes comfortably. Ooh, that feels so good already. Yes, I'm so happy. Even if I don't, <laughs> I kid you not. Even if I don't finish this, like, I'm just happy. I'm happy. All right. <laughs> And for the rest of my order, I just got some jewelry. I got these butterfly earrings. They're lightweight, so I feel like I may like them. Um, these star earrings came with them. And I see why. <laughs> these are really cheap, I can tell. And then this ring, the butterfly ring, it's cute. Just trying to get more into wearing the rings. I thought I got a bigger size. I guess I don't know the sizes just yet, but I was trying to get bigger size for like other fingers and stuff. Even though this is cute like this and it fits snug. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to be wearing these like this, but I like this. This is cute. She, of course, she fits on the ring finger perfectly. So, I guess she's going to be a knuckle ring. <laughs> but she's cute. I like her. Let's try these earrings. These are cute. These are really cute. Yeah, of course. I like these these comfortable but i gotta be very careful when i wear these come on bitch i don't know where my hole is okay do i got this maybe that's what the problem is <laughs> They're very lightweight. And then these stars ones. Yeah, they're 
lightweight. They just don't got any backs, but I could already tell they may hurt, so. Yeah, son. My first Timu order. I give it a five out of ten. I ain't even gonna lie. For my first order, um, out of everything, I like this ring. I do like the earrings, and I like the black carpet for sure. The black carpet. Um, the blue carpet is just ugly. That's just all it is. Like I don't like it at all even if it was bigger so all in all it was a team new order that i expected so i ain't even mad and honestly i'm glad i didn't get overly hyped about it because the carpet is the main thing that was important to me and i knew when i placed my order that I needed to not be too excited because I knew that I probably got sizes wrong and stuff like that. And that blue carpet, I wasn't expecting it to be that small, but it's very flimsy. The black carpet, it's very thick, very, very thick. So I for sure know I can order from that same vendor and just get a bigger one. And then now that I know the dimension just a little bit better, maybe I can actually get it right the next time so. yeah i'm gonna go actually when i get off here that's what i'm gonna go look at and go ahead and put it in the car and have it ready to go and yeah son it's so freaking crazy because I just opened the room door and this carpet right here like this, it don't look bad. And I'm not mad at it. I still wanna like, I'm still wanna cover the whole floor. Like I don't see none of this shit. Like that's my problem right now. So that's why I'm having an OCD moment with this carpet situation. But it really don't look that bad no more. Like, and I knew that when I was like not liking it earlier, I was like, walk in getting dressed and like this it doesn't look bad and i realized that this section right here although on camera i hate it but for what it is it really is a nice little section type of thing so the corner is not bad it's just it's not what i want <laughs> and i really don't know what i want I think I need to remove that from right there. I think that throws me off. I think that looks horrendous. So we'll probably do that. And then I feel like the book needs to be raised up higher or more books needs to be added. So there's another one underneath the desk. So I could put them together like right here or something, which that could be cute. Oh, that's what I'm going to do because I have two of these. That's exactly what I am going to motherfucking do. So I got two of these and then get the two bookshelf thingies. And yeah. And my corner right here minus the blanket. I'm not mad at it. So with the little blanket, it's a cute little corner. So that's cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then the desk looks like a desk looks like a desk and then that's why I'm like I can add the book right here and that's more room for me to put junk on the desk and then the storage area slash Christmas tree possibly area uh, yeah come on support come on it's almost 3333 so go ahead and say this is 3333 come on support come on support and baby i'm about to tell you why i'm actually saying come on support because baby i really need to be sitting down for this let me sit down because baby <laughs> Ugh. that's all i have to say Ugh. I'm being a little dramatic, but I'm being a lot truthful. Hey, I'm glad I came up here because baby table. La, la, la. Okay, so I have like since Monday, which that is a video that's posted all in itself. 
<laughs> but since Monday, literally, I tell you, the devils can no longer hide themselves. Ooh, I've been waiting on a good title for that video too. Yes, the devil no longer can hide themselves, baby. Every fucking day since Monday, yeah. Literally, everybody has been on 10. Complete 10. Just ugly. So I'm just gonna start with today. Today in itself was a very, like to me, I be chilling and I really do. Like, and that's one thing that everybody know is I really, I can just, just chill and survive. Like that's like, I built myself to survive shit. Like I built myself for moments like this shit right here, like working at Randall's, yes, <laughs> yes. I learned my first lesson. And even at Randall's, I was still backtracking and pulling back and like, oh, okay. Like, even at Randall's. So, when I tell you I built myself for this shit, I built myself for this shit. Because literally, they, the, everybody fucking know. I'm going to be big chilling. You not about to work me to death. You not about to break me. You not about to nothing. Like, baby, I'm still going to do what I got to do. Because, baby... <laughs> If what I've heard is truthful about what's going on, baby, if it's not working, why do you keep doing it? Baby, try a different route. Literally, try a fucking different route if it's not working. You can't force people to do shit because you fucking up. Like, and that explains the anger energy I feel from management. You trying to save your ass? So you think you about to stomp on us little people? No. I'm sorry, but us little people? Oh, us little people, we about to be stomping on that ass because most definitely when I tell you these people, people chose the wrong area to try this shit on <laughs> these people chose the wrong area the wrong city that's what that is you come to fucking houston oh baby you better be prepared to buckle up for what us cowboys and fucking indians can fucking do literally in this moment i'm just remembering that and when literally when i say indians i mean that shit like it's in my fucking blood, nigga. So, yeah, I'm very cutthroat with that shit. No, but literally, Houston, Texas, literally, cowboys and fucking Indians, like, literally, if you're from Houston, if you lived in Houston longer than fucking 10 years and you coming in this bitch and you think you about to <coughs> knock some fucking doors down, oh, baby, prepare for a good fight. And I feel like that's what's going on. That's exactly what's going on in this city is all these new people coming in, trying to, and no, we ain't having that shit. Like, we're not having that shit. And that's exactly what's going on. In a sense, right now, with what I'm talking about, with what's been going on at work, literally. <laughs> Just craziness. But what happened today in a sense i ain't even trying to big up what this day was or hype it up or nothing like that but baby, baby. <laughs> to have somebody else come in and pull a you oh you <laughs> baby come on checkmate baby i love a good checkmate oh i'm a good checkmate ass bitch because when i promise you Baby, the silence is golden for a fucking reason. And I even just, whether it was just meant for me to get what I had to say off the chest or not, the thing of the matter is to have somebody come in there and literally I see why we bond because mentally up here, we a checkmate as bitch, as bitch. Yeah, she ain't do nothing but give me nothing but confirmations that everything I've been doing, yeah. Because literally, whole time, 
I'm doing her hair. I'm just going off a list of things that I have. They literally, she has my phone number. And literally, she gonna have all her work done for her. Literally. Like, I was looking at, I think I was looking at my notes. Yeah, I was looking at my notes. Because I didn't save every email, but I just saved a few emails. But then once I got tired of the conversation, I just saved what I needed to say, which was what I felt was important. And 100%, they can have the dirt. Like, say what you want to say. Like, I don't care. But the one thing no one can do is tarnish my character. Like, you can't tarnish my character no matter how hard you try because they be. <laughs> Literally, you the one who fucked up. So, Yeah whoa <laughs> i just thought about something because i may not she may not even have to check my that ass but just for the simple matter of fact that that lady has my phone number now and i did not care that the manager saw that yeah because honestly me my hands that number was for me to fucking make money whether it's the checkmate your ass or whether it's maybe she gonna come sit in my fucking chair type of shit so I just had to boast today for just like, although all these fucked up energies have been just doing what they doing, baby, I just been chilling over here. And I feel like the girls who are still standing, that are still standing, it's like, oh, they understanding you ain't got to fight no more because God going to put every angel you need in your life. Like, literally, I had, I was doing something at work. And as I was doing at work, I had this thought. And I was like, well, maybe that energy I felt wasn't truthful. But then, I don't know if it was today or even later that day, but the energy came back for that thought. And I was like, nah, maybe that energy that I felt when I felt it was exactly what I felt because like I said cowboys and Indians and having a special connection with someone on a blood level in a sense yeah we have a special bond have a special connection because her personality and her anger is literally just like my sister and it makes sense because you know I have, like, a heritage standpoint to, like, although me and my sister are half-sisters, we're still blood sisters. I don't give a fuck what that bitch say. <laughs> like, I was a little kid. Like, this is how much I knew my sister didn't like me because as a little kid, literally, she's like, I'm not your real sister. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, I'm just your half-sister. And just how she was just so adamant about me understanding, like, I'm not your sister type of thing. Like, that always stuck with me. But it's like, bitch, when times like this where you want to you you want me in your life but then you want to treat me like shit like you proven exactly everything that i've sensed as a child so it's like i know that energy and now i have like a heritage standpoint to where that energy may deprive from and it makes sense because it's the reason why Indians, well, I'm sorry, it's not Indian, it's Native Americans, but for the term of cowboys and Indians. So, the whole point of Native Americans being so highly protected, you have to think about what the fuck did these niggas have to go through, or what did these niggas have to do for these motherfuckers to be highly protected, type of thing. So, yeah, when I tell you magically <laughs> we all are magic oh wow i just saw some sparkles so we are all magic but it's just up to you to find that magic and honestly finding that magic is understanding who you are who your family is and honestly chasing your dreams and chasing you but you have to stay positive you have to stay positive like it's so hard to stay positive but that's the whole point of you choosing you because when you in your house when you in your bustle your bubble literally you have you in here so there's no reason why you have your home that you work hard for that you don't want to come home to like y'all may not want to come home but i do like and you may have a fuck up home life but even when i had a fucked up home life 
I still, in my room, I made sure that mentally and physically, I was good. In high school, as a teenager, I have no clue where I even knew to just look myself in the mirror and stare and point out all my flaws and then be like, but I'm still cute though. Baby, as an adult, till this day, I thank myself for that. I specifically that like literally that's why I try to be as naturally beautiful as possible because like that's what I work for literally my whole life goal has always been just to be as naturally beautiful as I possibly can be in my skin in my facial features in my nose in my eyes like whatever it is that I have to do I told myself that I will make sure that I'm happy and that's what I've been doing my whole fucking life and I'm at the point where physically like I am happy with myself like this is the body that I am okay with for the rest of my life kids or no kids and a hundred percent it is what it is type of thing like i put myself in this body right here for me to get fat <laughs> for me to get pregnant because i saw where i would i didn't like so when you see yourself in a state that you don't like like if you really don't like that you're gonna work hard towards that shit like don't nobody try hard at you know nothing nothing like me personally if it's something that I like, if it's something I love, like, if I got to be without it, I taught myself to be without it. Like, yes, I'm going to want it. But honestly, after a while, out of sight, out of mind, and I love that that's what I taught myself. Out of sight, out of mind. And do that with everything. Like, yes, you want these things. Yes, you want these people. Yes, you want this. Yes, you want that. But you got to get rid of that emotional attachment to whatever the problem is. So, hmm. I wasn't going to put this on the Monday vlog. But considering we got the Monday vlog title, the devil is coming out of everybody. Like i feel like this is probably a good ending to such a horrible <laughs> beginning of the week and honestly it's only wednesday it's only wednesday and literally it's crazy because i've been trying to get a blog out for today and it didn't happen and i accepted it when i fucked up yet again and it's like how do I keep fucking up? But it's like, you know what? It's not meant to be. And one thing that I know about, like, a lot of YouTubers, and I make sure I mention this every time because this is something that I learned and I listened to, and this is how you become amazing at what you do, by learning from other people's mistakes. So I, this is literally why I am how I am because I'm a watcher, I'm an observer, I'm a learner, and if I see this not working for this person, I know, okay, that's not going to work. This is not going to work. But I know these things in general. So, yeah. <laughs>